My name is Károly Zsolnai Fehér, and I've got some papers for you. <laughs> I am a research scientist at the Vienna University of Technology in Michal Wimmer's group, where I am working on projects in the intersection of AI and computer graphics. Here you see our last project, where we made a learning algorithm that is able to synthesize all the vegetation materials that you see here in this virtual scene. And many of the works that you will see today, including ours, involve using neural networks. These networks are given as a collection of neurons and connections, and if we wish to look into a neural network that was trained to detect human faces, as neurons in each layer combine information from the layer before, the deeper we go into these networks, the more elaborate details we're going to see. Have a look at this example over here. The input is an image which contains pixels. In the first layer, as a combination of these pixels, much like in the human vision system, edges are formed, and as a combination of edges, object parts emerge. And in the later layers, a combination of object parts creates object models. And within only three layers, we have arrived to the concept of a human face. Just imagine how powerful a neural network with a hundred layers could possibly be. However, in a moment, I'll show you that this visualization is a little idealized. And you'll see how we can actually look into the inner workings of a neural network, how to understand them a little better, and how to make them accountable. This is especially important given that the rate of progress in this field is absolutely incredible. There is truly so much to be excited about. For instance, this technique is able to learn the key features of the human face so much so that it can synthesize truly novel human beings. None of these faces you see here are real. All of them were made by the AI. In another work, we can take a video of a professional dancer, then record a video of our own, let's say, moderately beautiful moves, and then transfer the dancer's performance onto our own body in the video. This work from scientists at DeepMind was trained on 14,000 optical coherence tomography scans and is able to mark up this image to show where the most relevant parts, like the retinal fluids or the elevations of the retinal pigments are. Not only that, but it also looks at this map and assigns a probability to each possible eye condition that may be present. Finally, based on these, a decision is made whether the patient needs to be urgently seen or just a routine check, or perhaps no check is required. As you see, these learning techniques have immense potential for good in a variety of areas. However, many of these works use neural networks that contain hundreds of these inner layers, thousands of neurons, and millions of trainable parameters. This seems unfathomably complex. How could we possibly understand what is going on within these networks let alone make them accountable for their decisions. Can we? Well, we kind of can. Let me tell you how. There are research works on visualizing the individual neurons of these networks. These are the beautiful colored patterns that you see here. This tells us something. However, it misses all the potential interactions between the neurons, of which there are quite many. Later, researchers started visualizing pairwise neuron activations. This sheds more light on how these neurons work together. Another one of those beautiful patterns. This is, of course, somewhat more informative, and visualizing spatial activations gives us more information about these interactions between not two, but more neurons, which brings us closer to a full-blown visualization. And finally, this new technique by the name Activation Atlas is able to provide us with even more extra knowledge by creating a denser sampling of the most likely activations. Now, this is indeed amazing, but what does this have to do with accountability? Does this help? Well, quite a bit, because this activation atlas can also unveil weaknesses in the neural network. For instance, have a look at this amazing example where the visualization uncovers a potential weakness where detecting the stitching on a baseball 
is seen by the network very similarly to the teeth of a great white shark. And sure enough, using our newfound knowledge, we can make this neural network misclassify a gray whale for a great white shark, and all we need to do is just brazenly put a baseball in this image. Quite remarkable. If you found this short exposition exciting, I urge you to join more than 12 million other viewers and check out my video series by the name Two Minute Papers. You can get access to well over 300 episodes, all free of charge. Just search for Two Minute Papers on YouTube.